on some breaking developments coming in at this point. Top intelligence sources telling Vion that Pakistan is trying to destroy evidence linked to the Pulwama attack. Sources saying that Pakistan has been trying to remove the chats and the conversations that took place between terrorists and the Pakistani army. Once the digital signatures are removed, Pakistan will try to claim that India has no proof against the Jai Sheikh Masood Azhar. Islamabad would then claim that Azhar is not a terrorist. Intel sources also saying that Pakistan is trying to destroy digital proof to sabotage India's in investigation into the Pulwama terror attack. The chats detail the planning before the attack on the CRPF convoy. The digital signatures are crucial for India. This, of course, also coming close on the heels of Pakistan rejecting the dossier that was handed over by the Indian side to Pakistan regarding the Pulwama terror attack. Uh, what are your sources telling you at this point, Siddhant? Uh, help us understand uh, to what extent Pakistan is trying to destroy evidence regarding the Pulwama terror attack. We understand that a cleanup operation took place, uh, as has been reported following uh, the airstrikes that took place uh, in Balakot as well. But regarding the Pulwama attack, Pakistan is also resorting to destroying uh, some crucial evidence. Well, what Pakistan basically is doing, the evidence given by India on Thursday, the dossier given by India, uh, basically they are using that dossier and erasing all the evidence present in the dossier. Basic uh, focus from the Pakistani side is removing the digital signature, signatures, especially the calls uh, and the chats between the terrorists about their plan to uh, uh, plan for the attack and these the, Digital signatures have been left behind when the terrorists, uh, terrorists such as uh, Jaisi Mohammed, were conspiring uh, to attack and uh, also removing the entire digital proof uh, wherever it is present. Because remember, India had given video proof, India had given audio proof of uh, the conversation of these uh, terrorists, uh, including all the charts. Uh, before the terror attack uh, was to happen, but uh, it was expected also from Islamabad to indulge. Uh, in such kind of activities, because Pakistan, of course, is is is, is in a denial mode when it comes to Jaisi Mohammed's involvement. We know that the Pakistani foreign minister spoke to BBC, and he clearly said that uh, Jaisi Mohammed is not responsible. When asked who, uh, who were the people who contacted Jaisi Mohammed, he clearly said these are people. He refused to divulge the people, which of course everyone knows are from uh, the intelligence agencies of uh, Pakistan, which includes the infamous ISI, and these people, of course, asked. JEM to ha to go for a backseat kind of uh, 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 movement in a sense uh, not to be so vocal about their claims because that is clearly proving that Pakistan is using these terror organizations as a part of their policy, especially uh, their policy to destabilize their entire region. But by and large, Pakistan continues with the denial mode. It has been in past many, many years. We know that Pakistan has taken certain cosmetic measures like banning JUD, FIF. But interestingly, today was only we saw that notification in the Ministry of uh, the Interior Ministry of Pakistan uh, say, saying that these uh, groups, the groups such as JUD and FIF, are not banned. And then we saw late in the evening that order coming. So clearly, Pakistan is facing a lot of heat. But uh, uh, the Indian sources also saying that uh, they're trying to fool the world, which of course they are trying to do. So we know what happened after India gave proof of the involvement of Pakistani non-state actors in 2611 and Pathan Court. They really didn't do anything. So, of course, India doesn't uh, also expect something big from Islamabad because India now believes in a different policy. We know what happened last week and a new policy shift has taken place here in New Delhi. Uh, is coming close on the heels of Pakistan also saying that uh, it will not, uh, Pakistani sources telling us that it will not uh, be going against the listing of Masood Azhar at the, at the United Nations. Uh, so on one hand, Pakistan, as uh, your sources are telling us, uh, trying to destroy crucial evidence regarding the Pulwama terror attack. And uh, this ties in with uh, uh, the larger picture of Pakistan trying to suggest that it is uh, uh, clamping down on terror on one hand, but on the other hand, the uh, double standards continue wherein it tries to shield the terrorists as well. But Masood Azhar, uh, the stance that Pakistan has tried to take over the last few hours, uh, whether or not it will actually walk the talk uh, remains to be seen. Well, of course, uh, that uh, is something that remains to be seen. But uh, we do uh, we do know there is not going to be major 
policy change from Islamabad and uh, Pakistan is uh, going to uh, maintain that trajectory. It has stepped for a pretty long time, but, but the 13th of March is the day when uh, the any objection uh, uh, on listing of Masood Azhar as an international terrorist can be uh, put in front of the United Nations Security Council. It is important to know that, that Pakistan can put objection, but Pakistan's objection is really not a matter to be taken into concern because, remember, this is 1267 Committee of the United Nations Security Council. It basically has as the five members of the United Nations Security Council and the other non-permanent members, and primarily Pakistan's objection or it not objecting to the thing doesn't really matter. What matters is China's objection or not, because China is the country that has been blocking the listing of Masood Azhar. Uh, Pakistan basically can give its uh, views about listing or not listing, but China, being the member of the committee, has the decisive vote on listing of uh, the JEM chief, uh, chief Masood Azhar. Right. And we you know since 2016, India has been trying to make sure that he is listed. But uh, finally, 30th of March is the day when India will get to know what happens, what is the Chinese stand on the entire issue. Absolutely. We're going to leave it there for the moment. Sadhan Sibyl getting us the very latest on how uh, his sources are telling us uh, from the Indian side that there have been attempts by Pakistan to uh, destroy crucial evidence regarding the Pulwama terror attack as he was just pointing out. Uh, intelligence sources telling us that Pakistan is trying to destroy chats and the proof of those chats that took place uh, according to the sources between terrorists and the Pakistani army officials. And once the digital signatures are uh, removed, Pakistan will try to also claim that India has no proof against the Jaish e Mohammed Chief Masood Azhar. This, of course, following uh, the input that came in just a short while back uh, of Pakistani sources suggesting that uh, they have rejected the dossier that was also handed over by the Indian side regarding the Pulwama attack, saying that there is no actionable intelligence regarding the attack.